Hello, I'm Scott Gassich with Haas Automation, and joining me today is John Nelson, Director of Applications with Thanks, Haas. Scott. How are you? Doing well, thanks. So today we want to talk to people about our dual spindle lathes. Dual spindle lathes help you increase your productivity, allowing you to do one and done operations, reduce your setups, and ultimately help you make parts faster. Now John, when I talk to a lot of customers, dual spindle machines can sometimes be intimidating. There's two spindles, what type of programming, the fact that I can exchange parts, how do I do that? That can be a real, real challenge for some customers. How have we made that easy? It's actually really simple. I've got a part in here that's, um, that's our, our demo part. It's already machined on operation one. I've got the B-axis positioned ready to grab it. All we do is start the spindles, give it one G code to synchronize those spindles. We open the chuck on the secondary spindle, come in, grab the part, release it with the main spindle, pull back, and we're already machining operation two. So all that synchronization happens with a single G code? Yep. Can we, can we see it operate? Sure. Okay, so I can see the spindle coming up. Yeah, you can see the jaws clamp. You can see the little unclamp. Wow, that's incredibly simple. And this is the actual part that we're making here. Yeah. Now, we're starting to work on the second spindle. How do I program on the second spindle? Do I have to now, instead of everything being a Z minus move like it is off the face of the part, do I not have to think Z plus? How, how do I program on the, on the second spindle? No, not at all. That's way too complicated. So on the Haas control, we have one code, uh, G14. And essentially what G14 does is mirrors all of the Z axis motion and any spindle commands that you've given. So essentially you can take a program that was written for a single spindle machine, operation one, flip the part over and programmed operation two. You can take those two bits of code, put them in this machine with a G14 in between, and the machine will take care of mirroring all the motion over to the second spindle. So I just program like everything's on the main spindle like I'm using. Exactly. If I'm doing that in my cam system, if I'm doing that by hand, single line of G code mirrors it all to the other side. Exactly. Wow, that's really straightforward. So we finished the second operation on the second spindle. So let me make sure I understand this right. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a, a, a G code that gets the spindle synchronized. Then we're gonna bring the B axis, which is the second spindle up to the main spindle. We're gonna clamp with the main spindle, unclamp with the second spindle, get out of the way and go right back to machining. Exactly. And it's a single G code that does that synchronization of the spindles. Yep. Wow, that is simple. Okay, let's finish it up. All right. Here's our uh, spindle synchronization control page. So what this does is tell us the status of both of the spindles, essentially. Whether we're in G14 or G15 mode, we're machining on the secondary spindle now, so we're in G14 mode. This is giving me the position of the two spindles. This one's the only one running at this time. And then we've got this phase offset, which is an R code. If I needed to um, offset set the orientation between the secondary spindle and the main spindle for hex stock or milled features. To make sure that, that they line up. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I give it a phase offset and, uh, and they'll stay synchronized at the proper orientation. Gotcha. So I can clock that spindle how I need yeah. an exchange. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like we're now ready to exchange from the second spindle to the main spindle. The main spindle will clamp on the part. The second spindle will unclamp, and now I pull out of the way and I'm back in machining. Yes. That's simple, that's straightforward. And again, it's that single line of G code that gets the spindle synchronized. So there you have it, real Haas value. Taking complex machines, complex operations, and making them simple. Simple to set up, simple to operate. High performance machines that really help increase your productivity. That's what we're all about here at Haas. John, thanks for the time. Sure thing.